Yo, what is up, everybody? We are back with another video. This time, I got a new game for you. And, well, let's not spoil the surprise. So what is this? What what game is this? So this is basically Marvel's version of Overwatch. However, Overwatch 1. The key uh, key indication cuz Overwatch 2 is a 5v5 hero shooter. Overwatch 1 is a uh, hero shooter but it's 6v6. They just tone it down for Overwatch 2. So this is going back to Overwatch 1, a little 6v6. And so far as we know, the only information that has been confirmed, I repeat confirmed, was that the closed beta starts in the be uh, and begins in May, okay? However, because of Twitter, leaked information has uh, gone out, just leaking the roster for May. So we got Bruce Banner, we saw in the trailer, The Punisher, Storm, Loki, Doctor Strange, Mantis, Rocket, Black Panther, Groot, Magic, Luna, Iron Man, Spider-Man, and Magneto. All of those people were confirmed in the trailer. However, some of the people that we saw in the trailer, that includes, let's see, uh, I don't see Star-Lord. Star-Lord and Scarlet Witch are basically in the trailer, partially, but they have not been leaked or confirmed or anything. Just knowing that this screenshot from X slash Twitter has is apparent leak we don't know if this is actually real has not been confirmed or anything all we know is there's potentially 18 or 16 or 18 characters that what i've read around twitter that are or x that's going to be released in may for the alpha and if you want to play this game in the alpha hit the sign up for the play test it is only for pc users so sorry xbox and playstation fanboys i'm so sorry about that Fortunately, I can even play with some of my friends that I wish I could play with. However, let's go break down the trailer now, okay? So basically, let's just start off at the beginning, okay? I'm just going to lower it for everybody, so I don't I'll be screaming over top of everybody. So basically, first off the bat, we got Asgard. Looks like a map in Asgard. Yep, as simple as that, right there. Hold on, hold on. Uh, we also got Namor in the trailer as well. That wasn't confirmed on the leak roster, so there might be more than the, just on that screenshot. So we got Loki, Magic, Luna, Namor, Rocket, and Groot. Those are your six characters right there. Then on this team, we got Doctor Strange, Bruce, Iron Man, Penny Parker, Spider-Man, and Black Panther. That's literally 12 right there, plus the additional six 
that were also uh, in the end team, I guess you can say. So straight off the beginning, I honestly, if this is what they keep with the U UI or the art direction, I got you got to tip your hats off because this looks clean as hell. This bottom left hand corner, if you two would actually go away. Um, just the UI stuff looks nice. Looks like some portal stuff. Um, looks like there's alt stuff. There's an alt. There's F E L. Probably a basic right there. You got your health. Uh, you got. I guess this is a, maybe a shield shield protective barrier for eight hundred. So I'm guessing it's Doctor Strange maybe apply shield to characters. Okay, we got Doctor Strange. Oh, sorry, Bruce Banner slash the Hulk. So. Just a quick second, if we pull back just a bit. Ooh, I think it's just a quick... It's a quick second. Okay. I, I hope... Uh, maybe you didn't see it. It's a quick second. I think you have to charge up Bruce Banner to uh, charge up the gamma rays or something like that, and, like, the gun will activate Hulk. I think that's what's going on. I think that's what they're designed. Because in the bottom right-hand corner, if you slow it down just a bit, uh, you see Bruce Banner at 100% just in, a, like, a half of a second. Oh, my gosh. It's just so quick. It's... Uh, YouTube's not built for that. But then Hulk just goes in, destroys Mitt Namor, so right there, we have a really interesting scene of Bruce Banner launching some like gamma ray stuff towards Iron Man to activate a team up ability, which could be interesting. And then we get our first instance of breakable material, which is sick as hell. I like this. I like this addition. I don't, if I remember correctly, I think there's only specific things in Overwatch 2 that's breakable. Not everything is. Now, obviously, in this game, not everything's going to be breakable, but only specific things. But interesting. So it looks like this might look like a team up ability, maybe. Or I don't see anything. I don't see what's in the cooldown. Okay, so we got breakable material. We got. Looks like, okay, first instance, we got one of Doctor Strange abilities. And this is a portal that opens up. So I wonder if you have to place like a beacon marker at a specific location. And then as soon as you're in a different location, you can open up and then the portal will just open. So I think that's the only way you can balance it. You can't just make random portals or maybe, maybe it's like an ability from Valorant where you theoretically place a smoke down and then however in this case if you place a smoke like object down you have the ability to open up a portal in front of you to go into that area so let's just say um let's just say how do i describe this um you have a straight line right you have a straight line at the bottom of the line here i, I don't have paint do i yeah i do so we have Bam, 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 bam. Let's just go bam, bam, bam. Okay, we're here. Okay. And let's just say Dr. Strange opens up something on his thing. It's like he wants to go here, right? He sees the map in front of him. He pulls out, let's just say something. He pulls out his ring and he goes like, he wants to choose this portion of the map, okay? So he places a theoretical, kind of like Valorant, a smoke. He places a smoke, but in this case, it's a, a like one of those, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head where that was, those rings. He opens a portal with the ring to this location. And so then everybody can just go right in, or it could be before Doctor Strange dies, he places a beacon here. He dies. He opens a beacon here, and then he opens a portal. He opens a portal for theoretically for travel, instant travel. So it can go. It's an interesting thought. Let's see. Uh, 
let's see how it does pay off in May, but it's an interesting design idea. So then we got Spider-Man. All we know is right now, the current moment, he can swing. So I'm guessing that's going to be his, probably his dash, I'm assuming. Uh, then we got uh, E, uh, pretty much web shooter abilities. I believe probably E is probably like a stun ability or something like that. Uh, right, right trigger is probably just a basic, I guess. Two is probably like a, like a nice little uppercut. The Q, his special, is probably going to be the ability we just seen now. So it gives it gives me uh, what's what's the guy from Overwatch with the is it's like Reaper or something like that character list. Um, where, where it gives you know what that ability gives me that gives me yeah yeah his name is Reaper that gives me Reaper vibes where you just like do random stuff. That that's what it gives me just all the face value of it, because you have double shot over here. You see it kills Rocket and Loki, so it has kind of a Reaper ability. I'm guess that's my assumption. So we got first look at Luna. If you don't know who Luna is, don't worry. Not a lot of people know. I don't. <laughs> all I know her from Marvel Snap. That's basically all, all I know her for. Uh, just to go back. We got we got Luna's ability. So it looks like she teams up with Namor and she inject energy ice energy into Namor. And it looks like I can't really tell. It looks like a turret at the current moment. These looks like turrets. So he might be acting like a uh, a Toborn. He might be acting like a Toborn maybe or uh, who else? Is it Symmetra? I, I, I don't know how to pronounce these Overwatch names. I, I apologize. Uh, who else? Who else has a gizmo when it comes to just placing shit down? No, that's all I know. So that, those look like turrets. Loki has a very interesting ability where it looks like he just stole Black Panther's ability. And it looks like he has it for 15 seconds. I believe he has his move set for 15, 14 seconds. Interesting. We have additional environmental damage. Then we have magic. I believe that's just magic's alt right there. No, 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 it's not. Wait, is it? Yeah, yeah. You see in the bottom right hand corner. Then magic goes off. So it's probably like uh, increased damage, increased stuff. Maybe it's probably similar to maybe a Genji ability when he goes when he pulls out his alt. Maybe that's my assumption. I don't know. I can't confirm anything, but that's my best guess. Uh, then we got a nice little team up with Groot and Rocket, which is iconic. Of course, they, they should really show that in the trailer. That looks like Iron Man's. Ult. Yeah, that's Iron Man's. All right. No, no, it's yeah. Can't really tell. We got Penny Parker, a nice little montage, throwback to the first Avengers movie, Doctor Strange. Ooh, ooh, okay. We got Doctor Strange abilities. Other than the portal, we don't know much. So this could be an, no, no, this is a, this is a, I can't really, fuck. I wish this would go away. This is an F ability. So I guess he slows down time and he stuns people. Maybe maybe like a little small confusion ability or something like that, which is kind of nice. Luna, I think she's going to be more of a support character. So it looks like then we got, I believe this is Galactus, but more of a female version of it. Who cares? No biggie. It's not that big of a deal. Who cares? Wonder if uh, she's going to be a playable character. That would be interesting. Usually, usually they introduce. So here comes the some of the other six in the trailer. So we got Storm, McNeito. We got 
uh, Star Lord, Mantis, Punisher, and Scarlet Witch. So Storm is going to be. I'm very curious when it comes to Storm. Storm is an incredible, incredible hero in the comic books. She is badass as hell. And I hope they do her justice. I we got hmm, we got Star oh, sorry, Star Lord, obviously. Star Lord's gonna be iconic anyway, because of whatever. Whatever. I'm just rambling now. Magneto, iconic. Hopefully now they have the X-Men IP. They're gonna do all these characters justice. We got Mantis. I wonder what Mantis ability is. Cause hmm. I wonder if she's gonna have like a confusion ability or something like that. That would be sick though. If her ability mentally, if she afflicts you with her um let's say telepathy, confusion, she like converts your screen into making you attacking your own teammate accidentally. That would be pretty cool. Kind of like your screen goes all wonky and you can't tell who's on your team and who's not. And so you'll be firing at yourself potentially or your teammate eventually, maybe. We got Punisher. He's probably going to be, uh, was it Soldier 76 or something like that? Yeah, Soldier 76. He's, he's probably going to be the Soldier 76 of this, of this game. Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch is going to be the most, probably the, oh, I just can't wait. She's one of, if not one of like top five most powerful mutants slash individuals in X-Men comics. Even if you see what you see in the MCU currently right now does not compare what she could actually do. Okay, a little cinematic. No biggie. And then we got the logo. Okay. So thank you so much for everybody who came out to watch this video. I would say for the whole breakthrough and walkthrough and just maybe potential leaks and stuff. This may be a little chaotic video, but I wanted to give my first impressions and hopefully everybody had a good time. If you're interested in following, hit that like and subscribe down below. Leave a comment of who you want to be in the next uh, Marvel Rivals character to be announced. I'm looking forward to maybe Venom. Carnage might be sick as hell. Or anybody from the X-Men. Wolverine might be sick. Cyclops is, would be interesting. Or... Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. No war Spider-Man with Nicolas Cage as the voice actor returning. That would be amazing. I would love that. Please make that happen. Make that happen, Marvel. Make that happen. I swear I'll do anything for that. Yep. Well, everybody enjoy the rest of your night. Stay tuned for more updates from Marvel Rivals and pretty much any game I want to cover in particular because I have no idea what I want to cover because there's so many games I want to play. <laughs> so have a good night, everybody.